As we all know, this has been a terrible winter for everyone, especially for lacrosse teams and players who are running around in shorts. And so here in Boston, where they've had historic snowfall this year, we figured, let's go see how they're doing at Harvard. Now, we do appreciate Chris Wojcik bringing us inside today. Thanks for so coming. We, what kind of year has this been just trying to, and you're only inside sometime, mm -hmm. you get the guys out there a, a lot, but practicing in this cold weather mm -hmm. and all the snow and playing in these conditions? Uh, that's a great question. You know, we are considered a spring sport, uh, <laughs> but we start February 1st. So uh, as you know, uh, really half the year we are playing in the winter. Um, but because we play outdoors, uh, we want to be outdoors as much as possible. Not everybody can do this, but game days, you're mm -hmm. outside. Is there any answer or solution? Should the season start a little bit later since it's such a northeast sport, or is it just the luck of the weather draw? I'm, I'm a proponent of starting the season later, uh, not playing the first game until March 1st and pushing you know, our Final Four back uh, a couple weeks. Um, it's something that's been hotly debated you know, uh, over this winter. Uh, it used to be where New England, we would get the brunt of uh, the early season snow, but we've seen it from you know, North Carolina all the way up. So all the programs in Division One have been you know, adversely affected uh, by the weather, and it's, it's a, a hot topic uh, right now that I know we're, we're going to discuss going forward. Before you talk about this year's team, I want to take you back to last year, mm -hmm. and it was a special season mm -hmm. for Harvard. I mean, I, I think back to that game mm -hmm. at Yale as yes. being one of the defining moments. What are some of the memories that come back for you, and what a great season Great was. season uh, for our program. We took a big step forward uh, to win the Ivy League uh, championship for the first time in 24 years was uh, you know, a great accomplishment, and it was something that I think the program has been building towards uh, for the last few years. Uh, but last year is over, and uh, this is a new year, uh, and we're really excited about the group that we have back. We're fortunate that uh, a number of the players that are, are playing this year have all uh, played you know, two, three years. We, we are an experienced group uh, this year. Last year, we were in a number of big games. Uh, early season took a couple lumps, but you know, those turned into some big victories in the Ivy League late in the year last year that really put us over the top. So um, you know, we really are happy with this group. Uh, not just talent-wise, but experience as well. And it seems like the Ivy League schedule is really going to mm -hmm. help you determine mm -hmm. how good you are nationally because the Ivy's that good this exactly. year. Exactly. You know, I'm going to say in my coaching career, this is probably the deepest the league has been. Uh, and I think it's going to be as competitive as ever. And we, we've demonstrated that already in the national level with, uh, you know, we have a good, uh, the league has a good out-of-conference record so far. The sport of lacrosse mm -hmm. and the popularity of it. You played at a pretty high mm -hmm. level. How far has it come since the days when you were playing? You know, it's the Harvard? fastest growing sport uh, at the youth level in the United States. Uh, it's exploding all over the country. And traditional hotbeds have always been the Northeast, uh, but you're really seeing it sprout in the Midwest, in the South, uh, in the in the West. And that's you know, it's kind of the growth of the game is really reflected in our roster. You know, when I played here. Half the team was probably from Long Island, and the rest of us were, you know, from Baltimore up uh, to New Hampshire. Today we have players from California, Texas, um, in, in the Midwest. So you've really seen, you know, with the evolution of the game, um, you know, we're starting to bring in players uh, from all over the country. And I, I think it's it's grown in popularity so much because it really combines a lot of sports. It's a combination of hockey and soccer and football uh, and basketball, and kids are really drawn to it because it can be played at a really uh, fast pace and, and, and a high speed, and I think that's been a big part of the growth of the youth level.